There are just wads of material in that tail. That's what I was going for, wads of material. It stands to reason that the heavier of a thing that you have moving in the water, the more mass that you can get moving, the more that mass is going to want to stay moving. Thanks, Newton. So because there are those little wads of material in those tails on this bait, it adds mass, it adds momentum, it adds more energy to the action on this bait. Hitting those molecules of water around harder, you know what I mean? And pushing them in different directions. Fish are very, very sensitive to that. I've shot this entire video. This is, this is the end. I've fished, I fished with this bait a lot. This is a good bait. Other than like the ultralight, like a 1.7 prey bait or something really small, 2.3 headless prey bait. On a 4 aught beast hook, ultimate confidence. Jason flew up from Florida from Epic Bait Molds and handed me this mold that we've been working on now for, I think it's out of the weeks and it's into the months kind of thing. I think this has been brewing for a long time, but it's because of that tail and getting everything right. We want it whippy, we want it free, we want it moving on the fall, but we added mass to it so there is more moving, which required finagling. Like that little wad of material isn't as thick as that one, and that one's not as thick as either of those. Everything's adjusted just right. I love this bait. But the big kicker in this situation, or should I say whipper, is that these are injection. These are fast to make. I'm just so happy with this bait. There's always things I should say that I forget to say. What should I say before we dive into the rest of this video? Oh, the eye socket is done different on this bait. You see how it's more oblonged and gradual? We really like this style. You already saw one of these. This is a thumbnail. These turned out so good. But you can just glue that eye on and not have to be so accurate, I guess. And you won't see like a rigid spot where the eyeball should have been, but you didn't place it perfectly. It's all just kind of gradual and the eye looks natural and it sh like it should be where it is. Kind of caves in a little. Yeah, look at the wads on that tail though. Maybe uh, here's some action footage right at the beginning of this video to wet your whistle. This is what we're dealing with. That's right. Now let's continue with the rest of the video. First injection of the Here we go. Still a little gooey in the middle. Whoa. Okay, same thing, no peanut butter. Reversible hook slots. That's right, that hook slot is reversible. It can go in the mold like that, or like that. Four out beast hook, jig hook, jig head with hook. That was a bright green pumpkin with a beautifully textured, very translucent bottom. That's gonna look delicious, oh my goodness. It's like sea salt and vinegar. That's what I'd call that color. Texture, wow, that looks really good. I think we would all have confidence with this tied on. Oh my goodness, we're gonna catch fish. Oh geez Louise. Extra beast hooks. Gotcha. Fish on. It's official. Ah! <laughs> Sand everywhere. Creek bass. Like whip wads. It's official. That was the first fish on the whip wad, though. Got a bass. Need to be bigger. I just put my reel in the sand. Gotcha. I wanted to give it to him. What are you? You're another largey? Nice. We are pulling these finicky little bass out of this creek. We're upgrading, I think. Hopefully it's an upgrade. Bait Plastics 342, hard blend. 
I turned the lamination block and shot it like that. We have a triple injector. I just kind of forgot that I had that triple injector with me. We're gonna do that next. But I wanted to see if it laminates the other way because I have an idea for that triple injector. It looks like it did, that looks fine. This plastic's way harder. That tail just curls right up. But I think it's gonna whip hard, being a little bit more stiff. Natural and flashy. That's like a warm color, a very bright warm color, and a lot of flake. Triple. Everything's like 370 degrees or more right now, and they're just kind of cooling off. And they'll probably be like 350 when they're in the injector and getting shot into the mold. Here we go. I caught some air. You might have heard it. That's fine. It's going to the top of the injector right now. It always feels like I need a miracle for that to have worked with the triple injector. <laughs> if this was successful, that will have been rare. So I'm not expecting this to work. I didn't really even check the temp on the final shot. Excuse after excuse. Oh, and they're perfect. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. Let me get these out so you can see. Whoa. That is insane. It worked extremely well. What do you say about that? What's there to say? <clears throat> wow. Oh, oh, it oh. got away. It took a blast. It survived. <laughs> it's the lighting. Can we get the five pounder today? That is explicit lure content. You set it into it? Yeah. Oh, look at that other bass following. Woo! Oh, heck yeah. That's a good one. Valid. It's official. Largy, largy on the whip wad. Jason caught one and you weren't reeling. No. So that tail was probably whipping around more because you have the softer blend on. Can't believe you caught that without a hook set with a beast hook. We're doing weird stuff. We turned the injector, see? I'm gonna shoot two of them like that. Let's see what happened. This is the normal laminated one and these two are the funky sideways. One of them did not turn out because I didn't inject enough into it. This one did it though, this one worked. You can see it's darker with the purple on the bottom and the top. That's because it gets thin in that direction. I think my center color needed to be stronger. Kind of see what the darker stuff that got shot down the middle when you look at it from the top. will catch fish. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at your oh, the look at your oh. phone technique and he's ripping drag. Oh wow. Wow, we got a good one on. Is that a catfish? That's 15 pound test. Braid. And the leader's 12. 12. 12, yeah. Is this a big bass? If that's a big bass, that's a big bass. I have my scale and that's what's important. Hey. <laughs> the whip wad. What is this fish? Ooh, it's, it's got some salad on There's it. Watch, it's a bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That probably was a catfish. Wow. Oh. Who knows? Let's. I'm gonna throw over there again. I got 65 pound braid. Maybe a pearl color in the middle, so light comes through, like it bounces off what's in the middle. It oh. comes back in. That's probably what I need to do. Yeah. Has sparkly in it. We need that center color to reflect light through the side colors. That one felt better. 
Okay, I hope this worked. The dark color, it's off to one side a little bit right there, but it kind of worked. I'm thinking that I like the other way of triple injecting better, but that's kind of cool. I mean, how much noise is that really gonna make? I need some oil. <laughs> oh, I see it. I was off a little. That looks ridiculous. I mean, not ridiculous, but just weird. I think I did sexy shad. Let's see. Look at how that blue goes through on that tail. That's crazy, dude. It did the thing. Oh boy. Let's get more colors going. Yeah, it's gonna be like that saltwater trip, losing oh, those fish. Yeah. It's gotta happen with me or you. Oh my God. That was a hit. <laughs> I think that fish came up to the top with it, and that's why it flew out of the water so fast. Another. Whoa! <laughs> that was acrobatic. I land. <laughs> Intentional. D hooking. <laughs> Two. Gotcha. Right on the bank. Finally, I caught a bass. Right off the bank. Fantastic. It's official. Again, be free. Got ya. Another. I saw that one hit and set the hook perfectly. That was fun. Gotcha! Oh. Woo! Went back to the double laminate and still happy about it. Wow, that one went way through the tail. To the end, things are shooting good. No hook slot on these, same color. Crisper line when there's no hook slot or metal in the middle of the cavity. Those are gonna shoot really consistently. It's see-through, I'm just kidding. stuff. Yeah, that was remelt, probably two different bin, blends of plastic. There's some weird stuff going on in there, but natural. That looks good. Are they big? Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's a decent one. Flip them over an electric fence. That's the best one yet for me. They're really hitting, if it's not up high, they're really hitting pretty weak. Yeah, they are. Was it another 12 pounder? <laughs> Go. That's the same fish, wow. He slapped that rock pretty good too. He gave it a high five on the way down. Sorry fella, you just went for quite the ride. You have to let them eat it so much. That fish ate it forever. These fish are different in here. They're tiny lagoon bass. Yeah, lagoon bass. These darn lagoon bass. Oh, Jason got one. Oh. Yeah, look at it. They're lagoon bass. Whoop. 
Oh, it's coming for me. Jason smoked him out. Oh, we got it. Gotcha. We got that same fish. Oh, that's better. This is a good fish. Whoa. Did we get the, no, this is like three pounds maybe. What if this was the five pounder? <laughs> Dude, that's a chunk. It is. Probably good enough to weigh. Let's see what it is. Oh. It's probably two and a half. Whoa, dude. It says the temperature outside, but not the weight of the fish. Two. It said 0.73 for a second. I'm gonna go with that. Almost three pounds. That was big. Well, it wasn't that big of a fish. That was amazing, <laughs> now. That's the technique. Yeah. You saw it like scared out and then it hit. Yeah. That's crazy. Even after it was scared out. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm gonna die. And then, ooh, what's that? <laughs> so Jason clamped a piece of foil between the mold, the two halves, it's just foil. We're shooting this now. It's at like three, 310. Shot nice. Nice. I was worried about the venting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But. Those are halves? Those are halves. Those are halves. Nice and translucent. We can do stuff to those. Yeah, it went down the hook slot a little bit even. That's crazy. We're thinking that these baits deserve real gold in them. I think sometimes people take a brush and take some and then put it on. So we're gonna try that. Maybe I'll just grab some, put it on, push it around. This might look really funky. It is weird, it's like it's like that crackle paint. Yeah, put some in the tail. Hopefully a gar doesn't bite this tail off first cast. <laughs> yeah. I'm up. Demold. Oh, oh geez. Did it work? Oh, I like that. It's in there. There's some funkiness up there on that one, but I think that one turned oh, out. Ho, ho. There is gold and silver in that bait. It filled out. That's pretty impressive. There's the other one. Ooh. All right, enough experimenting. Let's shoot a bunch more and go fishing. Oh man. We're at the river. Holy crap. Yeah, it's a crazy spot. It's pretty shallow. <laughs> That's Bait Plastics 242. Nice and whippy. Jason's on. What could this be? Is that what the beast took? Oh my goodness, on the spinning setup. A bass. It's a decent bass. Heck yeah. Good work. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Shallow water release. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, bud. Keep me. There we go. Reminds me of salmon going like up the river. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Got yep. Little bass. It's official. Like whip wads out of the river. Sorry, I let him go really quick because he spined my hand. Not that deep. I know. That's they're right here. We found them. No, that one was like right in front of me. Fish on. Jason's got one too. Be free. Got ya. Top water. You can just seamlessly transition to top water with this bait. When appropriate. Incredible. Got ya. That bass was waiting for something to fall in the water right there. <laughs> Get out of there. What a fighter.
Nice. Oh my God. I got that on video. The pipe bass. Oh yeah. Ten pounder. Nice. Oh yeah. Get up here. That one was aggressive. Be free. This is a triple. Ooh. This one's especially delicious. Went with the delete hook slot to put on some jigs. Look at the blue. Wow. That right there is an exceptionally difficult color scheme to name, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Look at what the lateral line did on that one. The belly is a different blend. 242 from Bait Plastics. And the rest is two th or 342. I think once it got just to the right temperature, it kind of, it didn't know what to do for a second. Down that lateral line, that looks really good. Scrumptially umptious. Can you tell what I was going for? The top color is good on this one. Oh my. Shot a lot of pink in there. I think the pink was the hottest color when I shot it. Or maybe the clear is picking up a lot of that pink. Yeah. Everything fades so nicely. I think something's gonna wanna eat this. I think the center color was the coldest color in that pour. I'm pretty sure. And hopefully that made it a thinner line. Oh yeah, success. That is what we're looking for, fellas. Hmm. Thumbnail? Probably. A translucent flaky belly. Yummy. I'm back here again, just to get a thumbnail really, and fish one more time, but mainly to just get a thumbnail, because I forgot. is so whippy. That tail. Got one. I think he saw that on camera too. Not bad. Out from under a, a rock. Like 12 feet away. Be free. There's one. That's a better one. Oh, it's a pike. On a beast hook. That's not bad. It's official. I'm gonna let him go. Pike like the new whip wad from Epic Bait Molds. How are you doing? Good. Sorry, I'm not talking to myself. I'm making a video. <laughs> Hopefully there's more. Whew. We just hammered a good pike, fellas. And I didn't freak out and get super excited because there's people around, but my heart is probably still over 150 beats per minute right now. I'm so happy I got that fish on this bait. And it wasn't all just bass. That was immediately on the fall. That's probably a bass waiting in the muck. I didn't even reel. And we got another lovely river bass on the whip wad. Be free. There's another in the muck. Oh, he came off. Got you. 
Oh my goodness. Well, this is fun. So for you soft plastic injecting fellows out there, the Epic Whip Wad from Epic Bait Molds. Thank you, Jason and Amanda. Get your Whip Wad molds. Oh my goodness, so much confidence. Exudes from this bait down your line into your fishing rod, into your hands and into your brain when fishing with this bait. The little dude really proved itself. Thanks for watching. On to the next bait.